have any. Oh boy, a storybook of Epic New Zealand Man. Adventurer. Frank Wolfling. A long, long way from his hometown of Akarua, a man named Frank dreamed he was navigating a ship through a sea of ice. When he woke, he wondered what set of sun dressed quickly and hurried out onto the street of London. Then he touched something. <laughs> Interlar trans enter enter expedition. It read Frank at least immediately. A man named Ernest told him we shall sail to Antarctica and then cross the continent on foot. It will be the greatest flood journey of all time. So, as other people want to advise the first word, what? Frank set sail as captain of a ship called Endurance. Another sign, perhaps? Frank thought it was great fun to blow through the flow but as they got closer and closer to the Antarctic coast the ice packed in around them the crew swung their ice aids the bent their hammer but there was no way out they were trapped it would be by be more than a year before Frank would set sail again. By then, the endurance had sunk to the bottom of the ocean and the crew had been camping on the ice for many months. One day, they heard a crack. and the rest of the crew rushed to the lifeboat and began to row. They made it to a nearby island, but they were still no closer to safety. So Frank, Ernest, and four also got back in a lifeboat. Frank took aim in at a faraway, whirling station on a small island in the giant ocean. If he steered even a little bit of closure, he, of course he might never find it, but they had to get help. The stormy seas rocked the boats up, down, and from side to side. Frank could hardly stand. He was sick and exhausted and couldn't be sure he was going the right way. Land was out there somewhere. He just had to find it. So he followed his instinct. He used the wine, the sea, and the star to guard him. Later on, Frank and him Friends were safe and sound. Some people would say it was the greatest feat of seamanship of all time. Frank found the island, but they had landed on the wrong side. It was another setback, but Frank responded bravely to each new challenge. The men told Cross units plowed glacier and mountain. At night, approached the 
they had no choice but to slide down a ridge in the thick fog. They couldn't see where really they were going. But the Frick grinned from ear to ear. She was an adventurer. And this had been an epic adventure illustrated by Toby Morris.